So hello and, um, and welcome to uh, Ask Aaron. Couldn't think of a better name for it. Um, but essentially CMP wanted to sort of kickstart their YouTube channel with all the rebranding. New logo. Um, with all the rebranding and everything else that's going on. And they said, hey, Aaron, you fancy doing um, something for the YouTube channel? And I thought, you know what, why not? I've never done it before. Could be, could be a bit of a laugh. Could end up stinking, but who knows. Um, so CMP put a post out on Facebook and Instagram asking for questions. Um, we've got a fair few, so we've picked a few, or CMP have picked a few for me. Um, I'm just gonna read through and ask them, so here we go. Um, right, first question was from Facebook, a guy called Mark. He says, I only have three days per week I can go to the gym. How best would I split this up to make sure I'm not missing anything over these three sessions? Right, so essentially you've got three days a week in the gym, you need to hit everything. How would I split it to make sure uh, nothing was missed? I think. Um, to be honest, obviously I'm, I'm assuming this guy's a bit bodybuilding. So ideally, you, I, I think a minimum of four days, if I'm being honest. I, I've, always, I've always done five or six days in the gym lifting weights. Um, three days, it, it can be done, I'm, I'm sure. I've never tried it, I wouldn't try it. Um, but if you had to do three, I think three is probably the only time I would ever advocate a push pull leg um, approach. I hate push pull legs. For me, I don't understand how you can sort of hit chest, shoulders, and triceps um, in one day. I don't understand how you can do back, biceps, and rear delts in another day, and then quads, hamstrings and calves on another. For me, it, it's too much to pack, it's too much to pack into a session. I, I think you would you just run out of gas before the end of the session. And I think you you do chest and then you just half ass shoulders basically. And then triceps would just be a, a, a pointless exercise. For me with the that, that's because of the way I train. I, I train to failure. I, I give myself 12 sets and I, I blast the living crap out of myself trying to fail you for every set and just basically you just want to be crawling out of the gym so push poor legs I think is the only time three days a week is the only time I would really advocate push poor legs approach just because I hate it I, I really do I think even doing say five or six days a week in the gym if you're doing push poor legs there's just not enough recovery time unless you're some sort of super freak you can recover really quick like Ronnie Coleman could yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think it's a bit of a gimmick, I think it's, you're just trying to hit, you know, the, 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 the sort of, the selling, the selling point of push-pull legs is that you get in the gym and you hit every single body part twice a week, great, but the thing is, there's a difference between hitting the body part and hitting the body part, you know what I mean, for me, you cannot hit the body part, a little punch, you can't sort of, you can't smash the hell out of the body part twice a week and recover, not for a not for a very long period of time, you know. You can maybe sort of cycle it on and off. I don't know. It, it's not for me, but anyway. Next question: um, If you could pick two wrestlers, past and present, to headline WrestleMania, who would it be and why? Um, to be honest, I think that's already happened for me. Um, the Rock and Hogan, Hulk Hogan and the Rock, and that that was probably my favourite WrestleMania. I'm a big wrestling fan. Um, that for me was past and, and present. Past, well, that's the both past now. Really, the Rock's retired essentially. That for me was the two sort of the, the Rock and Hogan catapulted wrestling to what it was. You know, Hogan back in the eighties and the nineties, the Rock in the two thousands, um, and I, I guess as well Rock and John Cena um, because John Cena is kind of his era is sort of winding down almost now. But John Cena is the current, if that makes sense. So maybe, and, and Rock and Cena has happened twice at WrestleMania. Um, so maybe Rock, uh, sorry, maybe Cena and Hogan would be cool, but Hogan's about 120 now. He, he's not wrestling again. Um, so yeah, that, those three, Hogan, Rock, Cena, they are like Mount Rushmore for me. They are, they are wrestling, you know. Um, uh, people will say, oh, what about Shawn Michaels? What about The Undertaker? But yeah, they're great. They're, they are great, but they're not, you know, Ric Flair. Yeah, but they're not, they're not superstars. They didn't sort of, I don't know, they're, they're, the Rock, Hogan and Cena sort of, they epitomise 
an era, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know, I know what I mean. Um, do I do one-off, one-to-one sessions or personal training? No, nope, I'm not a personal trainer. I am not a coach. I am not uh, an influencer or any of that crap. I'm, I'm, I'm a software developer. I write code, I build websites, build web uh, applications, mess with databases. <coughs> Essentially, I'm, I'm, I do what Mark Zuckerberg does. I do what Bill Gates did. That, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a programmer. I'm a geek. Essentially, so no, I'm, I'm not a person trained in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm not qualified. I have no patience. It wouldn't pay me enough, and I've just got no interest in it. I really haven't. Um, yeah. Um, best way to develop legs. That's from Facebook. Guy called Andrew. Um, like any other muscle, really. Um, the, your legs aren't really anything different. They're not sort of a unique body part. I think. For me, um, trend failure, full range of motion, um, be consistent, heavy weights, um, that's it really. I mean, yeah, I think with legs you can kind of, I always advocate sort of between six six and ten reps. That's where I like, I like to fail between that sort of bracket. Any more than ten, I up the weights. Any less than six, I, I'll, I'll drop the weights or I'll stay there. Um, I think with the legs, you, you can maybe up the volume a little bit, um, just with quads especially, because they're such a big muscle group, or they should be, if you've been training them. So yeah, just, just you know, do you need to squat? Um, no, not necessarily. I, I, don't, I don't believe you need to do any any particular exercise for any back, any, any body part. But for back, I never deadlifted. I didn't deadlift for seven years. Um, I started deadlifting last year. I, I'm not the strongest, I'm not, I'm not Eddie Hall. But for a bodybuilder, I'm reasonably strong at it, so I've been doing it 12 months, and I, I do them maybe once a month, if that. I, I, I've pretty much been dieting a good 10, 11, 12 months now as well. Um, so really, deadlifting isn't something I'd want to do when my body's in a depleted state, um, because you risk injury and all the rest of it. So I kind of do it when I'm feeling good, if that makes sense. It's not something I do every week. Um, but no, for legs you don't need to squat. You know, if you can leg press and you can, if you can lunge, uh, if you can front squat, just you, you've got to do whatever suits your body. Not everybody suits for everything. I can't, for the life of me, I can't, I can't bench press. I can't barbell bench press. I don't know if it's because I've got long arms or I, I don't know. I, I'm just crap at it. I'm really, really bad at bench press. I can use dumbbells, but even pressing with dumbbells, I'm not great. Um, I much prefer flies. And I, and I fly, I, I, I fly almost as much as I press, which is, I don't know if it's embarrassing or concerning, to be honest, but I, I, I can and I get much more from a contraction that way rather than a contraction that way, if that makes sense. Um, do both, but see you feel. Um, da, 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 da. What is a good supplement for pre-workouts other than a pre-workout itself? Self. Itself. Itself. Something to push you that extra mile. Um, so you don't want to use a pre-workout, but you want a pre-workout. Um, Supplement-wise, um, there is an ingredient called L-tyrosine, which is found in some pre-workouts, not all of them. But it's you, you can buy the raw form, the raw powder. Um, I wouldn't know where to buy it from, uh, Amazon maybe, but you can buy L-tyrosine. -tyro tyrosine. Um, it's like a chalky, a chalky white powder. Mix it in a drink, it's unflavoured, it's not flavoured, it's a tasty anything. Maybe put some you know, fruit juice in there or something, or some squash, whatever you're doing, some sugar free squash. Um, neck that, and that kind of gives you a nice mental clarity. It sounds really weird. It, for example, when I, well, say if I've been working, I've been coding, I'm on a laptop for you know, six, seven hours a day, which is a long time, um, you often get sort of like a brain fog, you know, you can't think straight, it's kind of you're making mistakes, that sort of thing. You, you, you think when you were in school and you were writing essays or something, or you were doing um, you know, exam revision, you just, you just your brain has just had enough. L-tyrosine sort of clears that brain fog. And it's a very good pre-workout supplement because it does, it's not a stimulant. It just clear, it just gives you mental clarity. That, that, that's quite good. Um, but apart from that, I think you, you've just got a, you've got a goal. You need to have a goal in mind. You know, there's no point going to the gym and just half arsing, you know, you've you've got to go in, and you've got to, you've got to want to push your own limits, you know. Having you know a bit of downtime where you just go through the motions and just let your body relax is all well and good. 
But if you need, if you need to kick up the backside, a good training partner will help. Um, tyrosine, if you want to do that. Um, but just desire, you know, you, you've got to want to go in, and you've, you've you've really got to sort of want. You've got to you've got to make the time efficient. If that makes sense. You've got to think. Well, I've got an hour, an hour and a half, to however long you train for, forty five minutes, whatever. You've got this amount of time. You need to get a job done in this amount of time. No faffing around, no messing, no no gassing with friends in the gym, no on your phone, no that business. Just get in, hit it, hit it hard, get out, recover. That's it. Simple as. Um, Aaron, if you had to pick out of Toy Story, Ice Age and Shrek, which one would you pick? Thanks in advance. Uh, Toy Story. Toy Story, Toy Story, Toy Story. I was actually in America when I was nine, I think. I was on a family holiday. And we were in Disney uh, Magic Kingdom um, when they announced Toy Story, the first Toy Story. I think it was like 96 or something like that. Was it 95, 96? I can't remember. I remember that sometime. But I was nine, I remember that. I was distinctly nine. Um, Ice Age is crap. I don't rate that at all. And Shrek, Shrek's okay. It's a bit... Yeah. Toy Story is classic though. There's, there's, you know, there's four of them, so they are very good. Is there four? Is there three? I think there's four. Is there? I'm not too sure. I'll have to check. I'll ask my, uh, my son. Anyway, how much vegetables do you eat a day? Uh, how about chickpeas and other beans? What's the best thing to eat for carbs? Thanks in advance. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm really bad with vegetables. I don't eat enough. Um, I, off season, I don't consume them at all because I, I hate eating. And to me, veg vegetables are extra effort. Um, what I do do, I use CMP Pro Greens little capsules. There, there is a, a powdered drink as well. You can use that. But I just prefer the capsules. I take three capsules six times a day, um, and that is probably more than I should take. But I think just just take more. Why not? More is better. Anyway, um, as for best thing for carbs, um, that depends on you. You need to figure that out. Um, you, for me, I get on very well with high fibre carbohydrates. Um, some people don't. Uh, things like sweet potato, uh, even white potato can, can sort of bloat me, I have digestion issues. That's the key with carbohydrates, you have to digest them. It's, it was, it's the key with all things really, but carbohydrates especially. Um, if you, you know, some people have issues with bread, um, just, just avoid whatever digest, whatever di doesn't digest, avoid. It's not worth it, okay? If you, if you bloat or you're stinking the place out, let's say, um, that is a bad sign, you're not digesting food and therefore your body is inflamed that's what happens you, you get an inflammatory response so stay away from those carbohydrates if you don't if you digest i i digest bread really really well i can eat bread all day i have no issues um i do have issues sometimes with sweet potato it just bloats me i also actually have issues with oats on occasions um by oats i mean literally like scottish oats um whereas things like ready break I'm, I'm not too bad with it's weird Right. As part of the CMP um, relaunch, you know, the rebranding, all the rest of it, we're reformulating products all the time, and there's some pretty cool stuff coming out. I've, I've had a hand in a couple of the products that are coming out. Um, they've I've, they've shared shared with me the you know the formulations and everything else, and they're they're good. They're, they're really good. What we've got here is one of the new propeptides. This is the first off the line. This is literally the first ever of the new. Reformulated, rebranded, looking sexy as hell. Right, peptide. Right, I'm keeping this one. Okay, this is mine. This is sort of a yeah. This is this is one to keep. Okay, so I'm not going to open this. This is still the biggest screw cup ever. Still sealed. Okay, with the good old seal for your protection. Protection from what? Anyway, sealed. Um, what I want to do, I want to do a bit of a giveaway. So we can do a bit, do, do a bit of a, do a bit of a giveaway. Um, yeah, so let's say uh, uh, share the video. Um, drop me a message on Instagram. Um, drop CMP a, a message on Facebook or on Instagram, 
ask any question for the next video and I will select a winner at random and let me know what flavour you want and we'll get a, we'll get some prep peptides sent out to you. Um, yeah, uh, to a random winner. Um, not this one, this one's mine, stand with me. I'll put it in the print back of the cupboard and forget all about it, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, I've got it just in case. So yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, drop me a message, see what you think, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's anything you want to know, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not an expert, but uh, you know, the last few years of competing, I've picked up a trick or two, so let's go. Thanks again. See ya.